Welcome back, Storytimers. Today's read aloud is Adventures at Grandma Bahamas by Anish Gadari. Hi, my name is Chaitan. Every summer, I get so excited to visit my Grandma Bahamas. The Bahamas is known for its beautiful sun, sand and sea, but it's a second home to me. Chaitan, come and help me water the garden, says my Grandma Bahamas. I love helping water her garden in the Bahamas. Victor is her cat and he likes to help too. She hands me a watering hose. Grandma Bahamas has lots and lots of fruits and vegetables in her sunny Bahamian garden. Some of her plants are very green, like kale and mint. Some of her plants are very red, like pomegranate and tomatoes. And some of her plants inside are very white, like sugarcane, coconuts and bananas. But the most important thing to know is that not all plants are for fun treats. Not all plants even taste like sweets. This plant is very bitter, my grandma Bahama says, but it makes sick people feel better. It's called Cerise. And grown-ups use it as a tea to get healthy. I thank her politely, but no tea for me. I set down my watering hose next to the tomatoes. Let's go on an adventure to meet the flamingos. Today, they are at the Bahama Resort. But most of their family is from Inagua, another island in the Bahamas. I've learned so many funny facts about the life of a flamingo. Do you want to know? Flamingos stand on only one leg. They eat upside down. And even though they look big, they only weigh five to six pounds. They eat a little, but drink a lot. Every day a flamingo drinks 64 cups of water. I kid you not. The last fact about flamingos really makes you think. Did you know that they are born white, not pink? Their colour changes with their favourite foods. Carrots, shrimp and tomatoes give them bright pink hues. I ask a zoo trainer if I can share. Yes, you can give your tomato to the baby flamingo over there. As I give the baby flamingo his snack, he gives me a feather back. Suddenly, I hear sounds of music playing the Junkanoo beat. Junkanoo is a huge parade that takes place Boxing Day and New Year's Eve. The parade has lots of instruments from saxophones, trumpets and drums, even cowbells that make your ears go numb. It's a celebration with music, dancing and costumes decorated in glitter. I offer one of the dancers my feather. In exchange, she gifts me a magic glove back. Click your fingers, she tells me. It's time for a snack. I close my eyes and spin around fast. I'm right on time for my cooking class. Come on, Chaitoon, come help me cook. It's my grandma, Bahamas, giving me a loving look. Onions, green peppers and tomatoes sizzle on the stove. There are lots of herbs and spices, but no cloves. Instead, she adds salt, pepper and thyme into the pan. I reach over to give her the corned beef. Be careful, Chaitoon. I don't want you to burn your hands. She finishes my favourite meal. It's called fire engine because of the colour the meat and rice reveal. Grandma Bahamas hands me a cool glass of water and I take a sip. My imagination takes me back to visiting Dean's Blue Hole on our Long Island trip. I close my eyes, opening them to see a floor made of sand. We have returned to the Blue Hole, an underwater wonderland. As I was playing with a conch shell, I come face to face with a scariest sight. A two-fanged shark, I panic in fright. But in the Bahamas, even a shark can be a friend. Let me help you get home, she says. Grab their conch shell and we can finish playing pretend. 
So I place the shell on her head like a steering wheel and sit between her fins. She zooms like a car except there are bubbles instead of winds. She drops me off by the sunny shore. I see dolphins clapping in the distance, squeaking, come back for more. I can't wait for my next trip visiting Grandma Bahamas. There is always so much to explore. Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.